All right, thank you. So I'm going to give the next presentation on uh, Transmart. Figure out how to start this thing. Okay. Uh, I know it's fairly I2 B2 centric um, audience largely, so I thought I'd talk a little bit first about you know kind of where did Transmart come from, where does it come from. Um, uh, so just a little bit about the history, a little bit uh, about what the PMC does and what the foundation does, uh, because I think that's important to understand. And then kind of where we're going a bit and introduce Transmart 19, which is our next release, which is about to go into beta. So <clears throat> Transmart came about from a project, internal project at J&J &J back in uh, around 2008 or so. And um, they, uh, and you can read the, the stuff up there, they published a paper where they talked a lot about why they did it. And they were trying to get a much more integrated um, solution that, that spanned uh, genomic information with the clinical data uh, and a lot more uh, in terms of uh, analysis tools. But, but especially, and, and they, they made this point very, very succinctly, you know, they were looking at sharing of data in particular in pre-competitive uh, types of uh, analysis. So, you know, having competitors join together, bring together the data that they could share with each other uh, in, a, in a hopes of more quickly, you know, getting to, to solve disease um, problems and uh, develop new, new drugs and, and treatments. Uh, and that was really the focus and they, they called this Transmart. Uh, but they quickly realized that this was a pretty daunting um, project to be moving on. Uh, they, they developed it to a point uh, and uh, decided that, um, you know, trying to, to solve the whole broad problem, and this is a, a slide that we use quite a bit. Uh, uh, Gil, uh, one of the co-authors of this with Brian Athey, uh, to, to describe kind of the overall problem of bringing, um, you know, genomics and, and phenotype information all together. Um, uh, was really a, a very difficult problem to solve. And so uh, it was, uh, you know, they, they realized that this goal, you know, of trying to put together a project like this was really difficult. And, and they, they decided way back in, you know, 2011, 2012, that really this needed to be an open source thing, right? So put all this information out there, let people all use the software and hopefully develop it, you know, in a, in a nice, uh, open source kind of uh, strategy. And so in 2012, they launched uh, Transmart version one uh, and uh, put it out into open source. And uh, you know what happened? Uh, nothing. Uh, it really was not picked up very well, uh, not a lot of activities happening. Uh, and so uh, the several of the pharma got together, I think Roche led it, but they pulled together uh, some money and started the, the, IT, the uh, Transmart Foundation at the time. Uh, Keith, you know, led the foundation uh, and tried to figure out, you know, what what to do with this thing, you know, that was sitting out there. And so, uh, the first version, uh, so the Transmart Foundation itself was formed. Uh, they had a couple of meetings very similar to this, where uh, the users all got together and talked about what they wanted to do and tried to figure out where they were going to go with this. Now, there's a point about Transmart which I think is really important to understand. I mean, there has there's not been in the Transmart Foundation. Uh, a single dedicated programmer for developing new technology inside of Transmart. Everything that's come into Transmart has been donated and contributed by the different groups who use the, the product, right? And so uh, it, it's been really these groups coming together where new releases have happened. And so if you look at version 1.1, the first release really of the foundation, you know, these groups all contributed people, they contributed different uh, parts of the technology, and all this came together to release, you know, version 1.1. Uh, in, a, in a similar fashion, and, and you know, it, it wasn't an easy, pro easy process because, you know, when we stepped back and started to think about 1.2, we had like about 10 code streams uh, in the GitHub, something like that, that needed to get all pulled back together. 12, okay, sorry. Um, and, you know, that's where, you know, we started to think about how do we actually manage this thing, you know, as we go forward. Uh, we had another meeting in Ann Arbor. Uh, we brought together the, the 1.2 version a whole bunch of other companies, some of the same ones, a lot of uh, different ones, all came together. Uh, and we, we did the, and accomplished the job of pulling together a unified set of code that did all the stuff that we needed. Um, but again, without the foundation really putting its effort into building this new technology. So, you know, we've always run this as a, a real, you know, pure open source project where 
all the contributions come from the users. So as a group sees a need, you know, Pfizer wanted to put GWAS in, uh, they, they developed it and contributed. Uh, uh, Clarivate wanted to, to put more analytics into it, and so they put, you know, time and effort and developed uh, pieces and, you know, on and on, you know, piece after piece, you know, as, as each of these things did, uh, happened, these were all brought together uh, into the, the foundations version uh, of Transmar. And so, you know, while it's a platform, it was ve it's very much been uh, throughout its history since leaving J and J uh, a community project. You know, and, and you know, you add P I, I get asked all the time as the head of the, the PMC for Transmar, where we're we going next, and the answer is really depends on where you guys want to go with it. You know, and this is how we really developed it. And you know, I don't want to spend a lot of, of time with this, right? But we've had similar meetings, similar kind of efforts pulling this all together. And we've gotten, you know, each new version, you know, of Transmar has come out with a lot more stuff, you know, in it. And then we'll go through all the, the details, certainly. Um, up until in 2017, we merged with I2B2 Foundation. Uh, and so here we are today as I2B2 Transmart. Uh, and we're, you know, try, uh, just, you know, continuing to, to develop and evolve, you know, the Transmart platform, you know, in a similar fashion. So. If you look at our, our most, um, you know, our, our previous release, you know, the contributions that led to 16.2, uh, we, we changed the naming scheme. Uh, we're doing it different from I2B2, and uh, so we have to sort that out. But, you know, all these companies, you know, contributed pieces again to the 16.2 version, uh, and similarly, um, and these are the different features, you know, and we're not talking about trivial pieces. I mean, these, some of these are pretty, pretty solid, you know, pieces of work that the, the different groups have uh, actually contributed um, to the to the code. Um, and, you know, we, we've seen the, the, the Transmart versions, um, you know, come together. Uh, and so, you know, the, the 16.2 release and then most recently 16.3 uh, brought out, you know, all the versions of, of the earlier releases and added uh, Oracle and um, Postgres support together. Uh, and, and what we have, you know, is, is a fairly well tested, uh, fairly stable version, most stable version that we've seen so far of Transmart uh, that have come, you know, uh, in the 2018. Now we do have Peter Rice who has uh, been, is being contributed again, not, not, you know, paid for by the foundation, but being contributed by Axiomatics who's been really serving as kind of the release manager and code manager uh, of the project. Um, but you know, we've, you know, it, it's really been this this effort to, to continue to, to push this all ahead. Um, I will say that over the time, it was clear that we needed help uh, on a lot of architectural issues. And so an architectural working group started, boy, back, I don't know, back in 2013 or 14. Uh, if you look at the people who worked on this, none of these were really uh, people, Transmart people, um, so much. Uh, Terry Weymouth from Michigan you know, was one, but you know, these were all contributed and, and contributed their time to really put lay out, you know, what are some of the architectural issues? How do we going to drive uh, this platform, you know, from the architectural side? And it worked quite well for a, a number of years, you know, as it says, been, I'm pulling together. And some of the things that we'll talk about tomorrow with the new Committee on Technology uh, that Griffin is, is heading up really is, is to take over, you know, some of the things that this, this group um, really gave to us. But otherwise, by and large, you know, we, we really worked to, to pull this together. And, you know, Transmart did quite well because, it, it, you know, it has been an award-winning, you know, platform. We had a lot of recognition, uh, in the, particularly in the 2005 BioIT world, you know, it's been quite... Uh, Quite a well well known you know piece. Now we put in these project management committees to to try to you know put some structure into what we're doing. And again, I'm not going to go through the details. The primary role of these these committees is not to decide what we should do next, so much as to how it gets you know what's good enough to come in, what kind of testing is required, uh, and and what some of some of the standards um, that we're using, and make sure that the you know the testing all gets done, as well as you know getting the the community involved and, and getting the the input that we need, um, and so really the PMC is the you know kind of the code control to make sure that things are you know coming in appropriately into the um, in the system, you know taking things like licenses you know for example making sure things are compatible, and that's what we do at the PMC, but not to decide. You know, we want to add this new feature of that because, you know, as I say, that that really comes from the outside. This, I think, is the current makeup of the current PMC. If you're surprised your name is on here, let me know. If your main name is missing, let me know. But I think this is, you know, it shows um, 
you know, a bit about you know who we are, and, and you can see it's a pretty broad um, set of people, and these all tend to be users and things. I see Ramon is laughing. I thought she might be, um, but that's you know, and then we meet once a month. Um, it's an open uh, committee, so if people are interested, uh, let me know. You can you can certainly join the meetings or whatever. Uh, if you do join, we're going to ask you to do stuff, right? So the the PMC does the first beta testing, for example, and checking out what's what's happening the project and so you know this um this talks more about it these slides will all be in the uh in the meeting uh folder when we, when we release this so where are we going what's coming next so peter's working hard right now on uh what we would we would have called 16.4 except that uh, the naming convention said that this should have been the fourth release in 2016 uh, which it's not so we're going to call it version 19 uh, instead um and this is bringing together a bunch of things that have been done already. Um, for example, one of the, the main things is that uh, there's been a lot of cleanup done uh, on the code by Paul's group. So Paul's group has gone through, done a lot of uh, work uh, on the, the basics. And so we wanted to bring all that in to make it compatible um, with, um, uh, with, with the work that, that his group has been doing. Uh, the, the huge change is that the database schema is moving back to uh, being equivalent or similar to the I2B2 uh, schema. So, you know, the, for, for reasons that are uh, not completely clear, we had divergence of the, of the schema from I2B2 over the last couple of years. And so we were pushing these back so that we're using the same basic schema here um, as we move ahead uh, and uh, making the picture API um, usable within the, the Transmart platform. Uh, all of this, you know, pulls together uh, a set of capabilities and things so that when Paul releases his version uh, of the I2B2 Transmart uh, a platform or environment, however we call it, he'll be able to use this version uh, so to just drop in with virtually no changes uh, as we move ahead. And uh, we're at a point now where we're at the, the beginning of the beta test, and so the PMC will have a, a, a shot at it for the next couple of weeks, and then there'll be a public beta you know, as we move ahead with this. Uh, it's all on the, the foundation uh, GitHub repository, uh, and it'll be um, uh, available soon, and we'll make an announcement, et cetera. A lot of uh, information here on the changes. I don't want them to, to go through here. Um, there's about 20 more slides that Peter put together here, and then these are all at the back of the deck, and uh, you can look at it uh, when you uh, take a look at this later. So this is uh, where we are. So where are we going? Um, as we started a big project a, a couple of years ago, uh, which was called at that time 171, so it was in 2017, uh, we did a huge uh, effort to um, look at what are the what are people looking for, what types of things are people interested in for Transmart, where they want to see it go, and this involved a lot of surveys, a lot of in-person in visits with all the key stakeholders as we moved ahead. And these five areas were, were identified as the key things that people were interested in. Uh, platform robustness and uh, you know, support. Well, you know, this is install installation and, you know, all the, the good pieces there. Um, uh, clinical data management, and this is integrating better with I2B2. Uh, longitudinal, longitudinal study support, support for high volume, variant data, and then cross-study analysis. These were the, the key things that people wanted. Well, in version 19, we're doing a bit on the first two, right? So there's been a lot of uh, code re rearrangement, a lot of changes. Uh, actually, a lot of some of the work that was was gone on to the, the version 17 pro one project has actually come into this in terms of reorganizing the code and all. And uh, the, the changes to the data model uh, have been built in thanks to the work that Paul's group did. Um, so, you know, there, there's some things there and some of the, these others uh, are still the question mark. Are these the, are these the key things that people are interested in? And so what, uh, you know, what we're, we're planning to, you know, what we need to do now is to basically revisit, are these the areas of, of main interest and who's, you know, which and who in the community is interested in doing these things and how, you know, how will we move these forward? And again, you know, as I say, there's, there's a lot of detail here, uh, but this was now, this is now two years old and we need to go back and review this. And we're actually looking at the user, uh, user study um, working group, is that the name of it, uh, who are, use case working group to see if we have, you know, we can, uh, you know, clarify what is the real use case uh, today, right, for these different uh, areas, and uh, then see, you know, who in the community might be interested in, uh, in pursuing some of these. 
So, um, you know, that's really the, the things that I, I wanted to talk about. Um, you know, I think that uh, Transmark continues to be used in, in quite a few laboratories around. We heard a couple of things, a couple of big groups now who are, are using it. Um, you know, we, we've speculated about, you know, what's, what's, what happens to, to Transmark platform, what happens to I2B2 platform, what happens, you know, with respect to what Paul's group, you know, is doing with I2B2 Transmark. Uh, the plan right now is, is that basically that there's no real change, you know, I2B2 continues, you know, and it continues to grow. Transmart will continue to evolve and, and grow. And, and the work that Paul's doing is also very important uh, in building these, you know, super integrated uh, platform pieces. And so, um, you know, I think it's a stay the course, basically, and uh, let's let's move this ahead.